How are we doing people? So today I just want to show you a little video around this custom install setup that we've got here in the garage and also to go through this new DI system that we've just plumbed in here. So to give you a little bit of context, obviously this whole system's been pretty inspired by what Matt's done over at Obsessed Garage. So obviously we've got a stainless steel shelf with crowns up at the top of it like the crown jewel it is followed by into a Cox hose reel. But I'll just take you through the piping system. So where I live is on a farm, so all the water's fed in via these plastic pipes all across the farm to feed water to horses and cattle and that type of thing. And this is called uh, Plasson, which I think is a French company. It's quite simple to use, it doesn't look the best, it kind of looks a little bit like water Lego, if you know what I mean, but it is solid, it's easy to put together, you just shove the pipe in with a little plastic collar on it, twist these nuts up and the whole thing works that way. So the water feed comes in from the top up here, Flick that on, it'll run down into here, and then it's gonna. We've always got a live feed going towards our bucket filler here, which is obviously what we sell in the store as well. And then that's easy enough to turn. You just flick the handle over, quarter of a turn, and before you know, you're filling buckets up. But going from there, always a live feed, like I was saying before, into the bucket, and then it goes here. So I can flick it on here, and that way we get pure water coming up through our inlet hose here, straight into our pump out through this jumper hose which leads straight into our reel here which goes into the hose and that's pretty much it in terms of just general washing and that type of thing but when you want it at the end of the wash you're probably going to, want to use some deionized water now i've been through a few different systems i had the race glaze system which is just like that fiberglass uh, container that you see i think a lot of people sell them um uh, in black containers and that type of thing. You just top the resin up sort of once a year, that type of thing. But the issue with those are they can't keep up with the flow that you're getting out of a crown at the top because that's 10 litres a minute. And to be fair to them, none of them say that they should, they work with a pressure washer or, you know, they can't keep up with the demand that's needed. So, after a little bit of back and forth online, I met a guy called Lex Shanks who runs the Cyclone Car Care Company and he said he's come up with his own design in his garage similar to what I'm doing here. And I have to say this thing is banging. So the whole thing runs, like I was saying before, I've turned the water off here, water will come through these little flexi lines that I've added here, you flick it on with one, on through the other, that's just to stop water being blown back into it. And then the water runs all the way through the system here, back up through the pipe, back up through the inlet again, and then out through your reel. So it's, it's quite a simple setup. You could do it with copper if you felt really fancy, you could do it with stainless if you wanted to, but for now I've just used it this way. So the system, that we've installed here is mounted to the wall via a couple of bolts now you can use whatever hardware you want i've just used big wooden screw lugs here to to mount the thing to the wall he gets these brackets made powder coat in black the quality is awesome there's no inclusions in any of the powder coating anything like that these are just little relief valves that you'd use if it was a self-contained system but obviously because ours is quick disconnect we don't need to you don't need to worry about that at all now on the front, the pied de resistance of this machine has got to be the TDS meter on the front. So at the moment it's reading three. Obviously as soon as you run it, that's going to drop down to zero because that's just the water that's sitting in the two tanks. But the most annoying thing about the other one is you have to then go and get you know, a jug or something or a cup, fill it up with water, dip your TDS meter on it to see when your resin is changing. Not anymore. So I know that if I run this, and then this goes, even while it's running, after a couple of minutes, and it's the TDS is over 50 ppm, anything like that, I know it's time for me to change these resins. So it is mega to have that on there. It makes life so much easier. It's all held on via a nice little bracket on the back, and then hardwired into the right side here to give you what reading you're getting. Now, the vessels themselves, two five liters. You, you just change them via the cartridges, which just unscrew. Each of them come with one of these spanners that you can see here. They simply go underneath it and then you can just knock them loose when you need to and then just change the filter to that. That's the other good thing about this is this unit and the head always stay on the wall. So once you've fitted it, that's it. You don't have to take it off again. All you have to do is, oh Christ. All you have to do is uh, pop them off the wall, screw them, screw them, take the cartridges out and then that's it. You're good to go, put new ones in again. And again, going back to how long this is actually going to last is quite dependent on basically how hard your water is. So I think where he lives, he was saying his is 365 ppm, which ppm is just the hardness of the water, which is extremely hard. Whereas here it's 165, which is still pretty hard. And I think with my seven liter system, I got just over a year using it as like a final rinse. But for this, you've got two tanks. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get well over a year and a half out of it before I have to change the rest. The nice thing is you always know because you've got your live feed right there, so it takes all the guesswork out of having to do anything. 
So that has pretty much the whole system. In terms of installation, it shouldn't take too long. It just depends on what kind of piping route you use to, to mount it. Um, obviously, it's quite easy to do with flexi pipe coming off the wall via these stainless little valves like this. But when you buy it from us, you've got a couple of options. So first option is that you'll just get these plastic uh, adapters here. So normally it's an inch going into the head, whereas he supplies them with an inch going down into three quarters of an inch. So that way you can screw on valves or anything else you want. Probably the most simple route that people, most people are going to use is if they don't wall mount it, they'll just have hose lock connectors each side. Obviously you can get the ones from us, the Nitro ones, the nice nickel plated brass, but you use plastic ones if you wanted to. And then you can just plug your hose in, one that side, one that side, and then just keep blasting that way. It's totally up to you, it depends on how you want to do your system. But for me, I think that's damn near perfect. It was definitely the finishing touch of this system. I'll lay some pictures over the top of what it used to look like. You used to have like a little shelf underneath it, similar to the stainless shelf that you see up there with the vessel sat on it. I had like a, a it was a fire extinguisher bracket on the back of it to make it release off the wall when I exchanged resin and stuff, but now it's really, really good. While I'm here, I might as well also show you our wand holder that we got in store. So I know Mossmatic make a stainless steel wand. This is again stainless steel made by Make Fusion Fabrications. Matt over there. This thing is mega. So it, it's it basically most of the time you make stuff like uh, aftermarket exhaust. He does some race team exhaust and that type of thing. And the welding on this thing is out of this world. If this thing focuses, you can see it there. It's not a highly polished finish, which I actually quite like. It's not quite as garish as the Mossmatic one. Got his little nameplate there welding on the front. And we make these to order, so if you're interested in getting one, they're in the shop, just order it and we'll have it out to you in about 10 days. But that is one of those things that you don't think you really need. And then as soon as you have it, it's the best thing ever. Having somewhere to just put your one, not chuck it on the ground all the time, makes a huge difference when it when you're just trying to get the wash done and you don't have to keep, you know, chucking it on the ground all the time. But that's pretty much an overview of the wash system here i think the pricing starts around 379 depending what adapters and stuff you use and eventually we'll have the full kit in the shop and you can just buy the whole wall unit we sell the cox hose reel in the shop too which is i also highly recommend because this thing's this swivel is a game changer compared to the mtm ones that you normally see you know the black ones that i think you get pretty much everywhere but yeah, we bring these in from America and um, they're so good. The hose I'm working on, because the current one we have in the shop is better at a shorter uh, range, so sort of 10 to 15 meters. To get 30 meters to fill this, that's why this hose is quite is short, it's only 10 meters, because I'm still testing them. I think I've nearly found it. Hose is probably the thing I've been through the most out of all of them, but we'll get there eventually. And when I do, it'll be in the shop and I'm sure I'll do a video on it too. Well, that's pretty much the overview of the full system. I've had it running just over a year now, and oh man, honestly, just being able to just flick the water at the top, flick the switch on on the Kranzel, and then just grab the hose and start washing, reduces your wash time tenfold. It's a huge difference, and now having that DI system as well, where I can just flick these on, I know it's going to keep up with the output of the machine, another massive game changer, especially just going into summer now, I mean, we're at June now, knowing I can wash in the middle of the, you know, and in, in midday, Red hot sun and knowing I don't have to write water spots is, is a huge, huge benefit. So if you're interested, check it out online. I'll put in um, Lex's company, Cyclone Car Care, on the website if you want even more information. I think he's gone into a crazy amount of detail, which is great for people like us, isn't it? We're all nerdy about this type of thing. So if you want to know more about it, you can check it out there. If not, I'll catch you next time.